This is my neighbor, Tony. He brought his tractor over and showed me how to, he helped me set my sawmill up. And uh, we milled up some uh, white oak. Uh, those are, by the time I'm done trimming them down, I'll probably end up with eight foot pieces. Some, uh, uh, I don't know, I probably got 30 or 40 board feet of usable lumber there, maybe a little more. Thank you, Tony. So this, this is my sawmill. Tony's heading home. I bought this sawmill uh, on uh, Craigslist, off Craig's, off a guy on Craigslist. Uh, last, last summer, and I uh, haven't really done anything with it until now. Uh, Tony helped me uh, get it all back into alignment. Uh, put the saw blade on, showed me some things about how to square it up. And uh, yeah, so it has some accessories. There's a, I don't know, over there, I got some log ramps that uh, you put the ramps, uh, log loading ramps over there. And then right about here, there's a post that has a, a winch on it and you can roll the log up and on to this and then there's some places to hold keep the log from rolling forward I've got them dropped down now but uh, so I'll uh, do another video about how to use this uh, I didn't want to try doing the video while Tony was teaching me it's got a 24 horsepower Honda V twin. Uh, I don't know. I forget what that is. A G GX six ninety maybe or something like that. Uh, I think I might have to do a little bit of tinkering with the fuel system on it. It's not. I'm having to pull the choke out to get it to run right when it's at full throttle. So I'm going to look into draining the sediment bowl if there is one. And uh, anyway, we'll get that straightened out. Uh, this is the fuel tank and this is the water. Uh, the water's set up so that water will flow down a small tube. And what it does is it you can set... You can set it with a small valve that will allow a stream of water to flow onto the blade. It keeps the blade cool. Um, so this, this sawmill uh, specs out the, the website where they sell this, uh, Mr. Sawmill. Uh, they say that this sawmill is, will cut an 18-foot log. Not that I really want to try one that long, but it's supposedly capable of that. That's pretty good, pretty good length in case I want to do some, some beams. Okay, I'm done.